So I don't know like <laughs> I don't know where I was going with this video. I think the main portion of it was to I guess supposedly update you on my life. <sighs> I'm currently on spring break and honestly so much has happened. Like I'm not even gonna say I don't have time to make YouTube videos because I definitely do. It's too much to me sometimes like you want to be a content creator but you want to escape from the apps you upload the content to you feel me i don't want to say like my life has been like just riches to rags rags to rags no it's definitely been good but like at the same time it's like so much has happened so much has happened i joined the tat dance crew a-t-t-a-c-k attached right like that yo basically i joined for like brotherhood and to dance and to tell you the truth i was kind of like falling out of love with dance so it was kind of like i need something else to do i keep saying i want to chase the student leadership aspect and get more involved on campus but then i'm lazy the brotherhood is tight the get on my nerves like if i had one little nerve left they would use it up you know you argue with your siblings but at the end of the day they there for you you love them and y'all create memories so being online for that <laughs> that was amazing that was amazing. Now nah, it was annoying, bro. We got in trouble every day for something new. Of course, all of Attack is my brothers, but like the Runaways, bro. You done? I don't think I would be as close to them if we didn't go through everything we went through and the experiences we had, the spending the night at each other's house and the going to Waffle House. That was kind of like a blessing in disguise because I tried out for strike. Well, I didn't. Ne I never tried out, but I went to like two workshops and each day before tryouts, something happened. So it was just like, this is a sign. And bro, I'm honestly glad I didn't join. Both organizations are good, but like ATTACK, <laughs> I gained something. But it also cost me something that I'm dealing with now. You know what I'm saying? Like, while I was going through whatever I was going through that day, it was like, I'm about to cross. I got my brothers, like, I think I like this little life. I'm in a dance party now. I can pop out at, at the club. <laughs> I can pop out at various events. My mentality is like, anything I'm going through at the time, I don't really got to deal with this. It's other stuff I have to focus on. Everything, I just kind of like bottled up set it down it was just like life is great right now i don't have to worry about this the stuff i bottled up because i was so caught up in living in the moment of life i regret like i regret and honestly you're not supposed to regret things each thing that you experience in life you should learn from which i'm very grateful for because i've learned everything i've experienced but like at the same time looking back at it i do regret it because it's like it cost me Yo, Bob, it's Bob.
Like four to five weeks, they just kind of just be like explosion. I've had time to self reflect and I've learned a lot about myself and things I need to work on, like within myself. And I don't know, I guess something came from it, so you can't really knock it. I'm an OGG, which is a tour guide for the school. Technically, you get paid for it at the end of the semester, like some huge stipend or something like that. But what you do is you give tours to people who come on campus, whether it's families, big high schools. I typically started out with like high schools. Uh, <laughs> once you get promoted, you know, one of the elite employees, you can do like family tours and like tours by yourself and stuff like that, which I have been promoted. But basically, I really enjoy it. When I'm so down and just like going through stuff, those tours, it allows me to put on the front so well I started feeling like everything's okay. You feel me? Like when I was drum major in high school, not to go way in the way in the past. You could go through stuff during the day, but as soon as you walk in the band room, you have to drop all of that stuff for them. You get what I'm saying? Because nobody else deserves that. That's just speaking to you as a leader. Like when you sign up for stuff and do stuff, you have to remember like nobody else deserves the attitude portion of you. Even like me in the tech garage. If I'm going through something, I promise you, I'm just quiet because say something to me I'm probably gonna say something back to you and people don't deserve that and I have to remember like these kids are here for one thing and one thing only and that's to be inspired to come to college before the orientation leader as a tour guide you're the first impression that they have anything I'm going through I'll drop it of course it allows me to smile and to remember why I'm doing what I'm doing and talk about the school I prayed so passionately to be a part of you get what I'm saying at the end of my tours I try to have like my brother's pop out with me and we'll dance for them a little bit. As I'm going through the tour, I'll add like more Gen Z humor. Like if I'm talking about the school, like, you know, fam, you, we just got the fifth consecutive year in a row for being the number one public HBCU. Can I get a period? And I'll go like this, they'll be like period. Or like, I'll show them the hair store. Or if I'm really rocking with you, we'll stop at the theater. We'll sit down. I'll just be like, you know, ask me some real questions. I'll tell like the parents or whatever. Just not say nothing, let them act, and I'll tell them how it is. But <laughs> scared of you. So wrapping that up, being an orange or green guy, honestly, it really pulls you back in to realize why you're here and why you're doing stuff. And I can't even like act like I'm mad. As soon as I start, you know, I'm making jokes. And it's like, I didn't forgot about all of that. And then next thing you know, the rest of my day feeling good. Falling, dreaming, talking in your sleep I know you want to cry all night Plotting, oh. scheming, finding Reason to defend all of your violent nights don't you grow up in a hurry Your mama be worried, oh It was all part of the story Even the scary nights Thank you for all of the glory You will be remembered, oh Thank you to all of the heroes of the night They gotta repeat the colors The lie is wearing off Reality is upon us
So before we even get into that, I do want to like tell y'all what I'm going through, but at the same time, it's like it'd be so embarrassing. My my family be on here like. <laughs> Piss me off. Can you go? But uh, I be wanting to like post. I be want to. I be want to post like the things that I really rawly be going through. But like that's just so embarrassing. I used to do that like a long time ago. I used to rant about this one person I used to talk to. And then looking back at the videos, now that I'm over all of that, it's like, ugh, why would I sit here and get on YouTube and rant to 800 to 1,000 people, depending on the video, about somebody I'm talking to? Like, And then my mama, she don't miss a beat with my social media. I love it because it's supportive. She want to watch what her son doing, but like, yeah, no. <laughs> no, because why do you know? <laughs> like, no. We can get into campaign season, I guess, if we will. So not too long ago, I campaigned to be junior class president. Right now I'm a sophomore, but you campaign for next year. And that was straight in itself. Like, it was cool. Unfortunately, my freshman year, I did have to pull out my campaign for freshman class president. You know, I, I remember praying so hard, like, let me do this, this, that, and the third. It was kind of like humbling. I actually had to like pull everything that, I talked about it in one of my videos, but I had to pull back, really focus on my grades and, you know, watch everybody achieve the success and aspiration that i had set for myself you feel me so it was really humbling and like depressing at the time being able to run recently i couldn't really do nothing but thank god like i was stressing very badly in the hindsight of it all the midst of it all i will always just like thank god for the stress lord i, I thank you to be able to feel like this regardless of if I'm on the verge of crying or it's just over it with my campaign manager, my vice president, just over it. Like there's always gonna be some unforeseen circumstances that go on. I just always thank God that I was experiencing it because I remember praying last year, like, Lord, I don't care if it's stressful. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Just give it to me. And to just be able to like be experiencing it, I was just really thankful. Like, Lord, I thank you to even be going through this. I remember just like, okay, I was running unopposed. Next thing you know, people popped up out of the blue. And now I have to get up on my grind and like get up on my stuff. And I don't know, I remember just being so stressed. I remember just being like so stressed. I had one on bids one day, which you're never supposed to do. And somebody was like, who y'all voting for? And I remember it was like 150 people for me and like 250 for my opponent. Basically to me, that's my pose. Like that's my news, that's the pose. Like ain't nobody voting. Whole time, anybody could have you know, press that, whether that be a sophomore, junior, senior, anybody could have pressed it. So I'm, I'm just like, I cannot stress over this. I wanted it so bad. If it's anybody who want to leave my class, it's me, bro. Say what you want about me, but if it's one thing you cannot deny, is that I be about what I say. When it comes down to service, when it comes down to this leadership, the passion, it's all there. Say what you want. I love my school, regardless of how much I complain about it. I love my school. You cannot deny me that. But I'm just hearing stuff like, oh, other candidates were supposed to run for this, but did it last minute for whatever their reasons were. And I'm just like, I get that we all want to leave the class, but if it isn't something you truly want, why are you standing in the way and denying me for something? I know I could be a beast that, why are you denying me this? Why are you trying to, you get what I'm saying? I remember I was dealing with the vice president, love her down, but she was not with the like, like theatrics, if you will, or social media portion of like campaign season, and it would really tick me off. <laughs> What's up, y'all? I'm Maxwell, blah, 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 blah. And we're running for this, that, and the third. Make sure you come out in. She just wasn't with it. She just like, you posted a fire. Let's just do it. We don't have to take pictures. And it would just really bother me, but I try to look at everything as an opportunity for growth. Not only was it last minute, but we got it done. Like when I say I ran a hell of a campaign, I ran a hell of a campaign. I ran a campaign, collaborations, endorsements. Like the campaign was ran and regardless of the outcome, I was proud of myself. I was proud of my team. I was proud of my manager and we got it done. Now, did we win? Technically, if we were going by the votes, I came out with the most votes. All of the candidates who ran were right in. So like we wasn't on the ballot. So basically there was an option to choose none of the above. And then there was an option to actually type in the name of whatever the candidate chose to run. 300 sophomores in total voted and 400 people just clicked no to. So it was just like, the votes were split, blah, 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 blah. 
and technically the election was deemed invalid since Loda, I guess, the most chosen. I'm over here depressed. I'm like, my gosh, I cannot do another campaign season. I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. Like, I was just too stressed. I ain't had the funds. They ended up going on live, and then next, you know, like two days later, the whole electoral commission resigned and left us for dead. So it's just kind of like, now we gotta wait till the fall to run again. And then I have other goals and aspirations for the fall. So it's like, it ain't working. I wouldn't go back and do anything differently. Like, I ain't down. Max, that's your love. That's our fits, y'all. <laughs> This our medley over here. Say shalom, yes. Medina. My vice president. Hello, everybody. This is the United States, and I'm stressed. <laughs> Shout out to Jalen. That's, that's how we feeling. I'm feeling great. Are we ready? My right, right, right. You're How we feeling? Delay but never deny. It's time. Thank you. It's time. <laughs> Thank time to be the voice for the voice. My kids are working. They it. are working. Mr. President, anything you would like to say to the people? I promise you a consistent cab. A consistent cab, okay? Y'all ain't wish that we can be addicted to love, but I don't say it's bad. For junior president and vice president, um, writing M has 115 votes with 15.6 percent. SRS has 40 votes with 5.43 percent. Um, and writing JB has 106 votes with 14.38 percent. Noda has 400 votes with 54 percent. Since Noda won, this um, ballot will be deemed disqualified, and there will be a Douglas McKenzie. I can't do another election. What are we gonna have to do? Can they post or no? Cause they have to be declared, the whole. We're not running. It's not a runoff. The whole ballot, that whole ballot got disqualified. They have to be declared. What the fuck is that? God. <laughs> For junior president and vice president, um, writing M has 115 votes with 15.6%. SRS has 40 votes with 5.43%. Um, and writing JB has 106 votes with 14.38%. Noda has 400 votes with 54%. Since Noda won, this um, ballot will be deemed disqualified and there will be a diverse candidacy. I can't make it to practice. I don't got the funds. <laughs> <At all. laughs> like the events. This is worse than losing. Cause what the? I need my dinner to wake up. I don't have it in me. Let's talk about the marching 100. Okay, so I recorded some clips talking about my experiences in this band from my beginning freshman year till now. Um, but I feel like I got off topic about why I'm actually talking about the band. So we're gonna start with this and then I'll cut to those clips of me, I guess, diving into my actual experience. Although, 
I did highlight the negative. I just want to say like being a part of this band, it's been truly amazing. Honestly, the traveling, the meeting new people, being able to blog and post and all types of stuff. And I guess you could say connect to like the future Rattlers, future 100 members and things of that nature. I love it. I love it down. I love this band and I will always advocate for this band. Don't lose track of the message being that despite me going through all of this, y'all only see me laughing in the vlogs. And even looking at my past two vlogs from this season, you'll see that I'm always with the same people. I was only with the same people. And in this video, you'll understand why. I would say the sole purpose of me bringing up the band in this video is honestly because this year was really a testament to me, I guess, trying to find myself and uphold the standards and expectations of others. I feel like I came in as this eager freshman wanting to be in this number, telling Dr. Chip, you know, I really want to be here. And then as I'm growing in college, finding myself, finding out other orgs I can join and things that align with my characteristics, I'm growing passion for student leadership. And then when you're put in a predicament to where you have to choose between something you always wanted and then something you're growing about loving because you're also finding yourself in your new passion, it becomes hard. With me having the mindset of I'm losing passion for this, it really showed. It showed in like my attendance throughout this season. And I even talked about in and before like joining a tag, it cost me. And honestly, it's because like, oh, coming from like being a freshman, you came in, you messed up your GPA. So now it's like all you can do is currently ban and like you watching everybody join these clubs and organizations and do all of this other stuff that you can't do. It's like, when you finally get access to it, like you just lose sight of everything else. It's like, Lord, I'm finally able to get like brothers in attack. Like, I'm finally able to accomplish the things I was praying so hard to God about. It got really hard for me to like, dedicate myself to Ben and dedicate myself to getting back what I lost. You get what I'm saying? So it really showed in my attendance this semester. And then on top of me going through all of that, I used to didn't want to be drum major, honestly. Like it was part of one of my goals here. Like I said, growing passion for student leadership and things like that. I feel like it isn't anymore. I was just this big time drum major in high school, gained a huge follower on TikTok from it. Uh, and majority of like my band followers know me as just that drum major. Like, I was a drum major in high school, just everybody knew. And it's like, when you come to band, you constantly have this expectation to live up to what you once were, you get what I'm saying? And that expectation can kill you, bro. And being that I had all of this experience on the stick, you know, I was still on my trumpet here and there. It's like, I really wasn't passionate about playing my horn. So coming into an environment where you basically, for example, pre-drill had to be on your horn from 7 a.m. to like 12 p.m. at night all day, every day, and then every day throughout the semester, you're looking at five to six pages of music a day. You have to memorize five songs before you come back tomorrow. Know this, know that. It's like, why the damn minute? I barely played my horn, and it's just like, y'all require all of this now, requiring me to be with 50 plus people in a section, and I had just came out of a squad of three. Being talked about, it ain't hell. It's like, I'm already battling all of this and then it's like my own section my own sips people who i help get in the band calling me lost causes reporting my instagram page and trying to get me you know deleted and stuff like that it's like i'm going through all of this why why even come around <laughs> you know what i'm saying why even come around i heard everything they were dogging me out they were breaking up me being drum major in high school and i really thought about quitting i honestly thought about quitting but i'm not no quitter and I honestly know that would've gave them satisfaction knowing that I did leave. Something that hurt me was the person I was talking to at the time, we got into an argument one day and <laughs> what's the name's argument was, I see why people say what they say about you. And honestly that, it got just like, oof. I felt shot like somebody who I love, like although we are arguing, you know what I'm saying? For you to say something like that, like damn. I was told, I see why people say what they said about you. And I don't know, that really hurt it. That really, that really hurt it. That really hurt it. So I just never really been able to recover from that because like if somebody who I'm laying up with 
kissing in a relationship with saying this about me and it's just like my section saying this about me my section allow other people to feel comfortable to say this about me it's like baby i just don't feel safe and when i say safe i mean like accepted to be around you know what i'm saying like girl i'm not passionate enough trumpet wise i'm just not passionate enough on my lord to like want to do another season going through like a journey of like self-reflecting you understand like you cannot live for everybody and once you realize like you can't please everyone whether that's your parents your friends i feel like you'll step into a new journey and era in your life you get what i'm saying i feel like constantly like due to the expectation of wanting to please the people back at home get drum major for you know five six one get drum major to see my mom's mouth it's like I'm over here trying to make everybody else happy, and I'm not happy. It's just a lot. And honestly, if I was to do another season, which I very much so want to do because I still love Ben, if I was to do another season, it just cannot be on trumpet. I'll have to, like, do flag corp or something because, like, for one, I've always been looking at the flags, and then for two, it's just like, the flags are more accepting of me and welcoming of me than my own section was. They was in the chat going 10 toes down behind me. They was in the chat telling the people, like, it never gave resume builder. It never gave needed for cloud. It never gave any of that. Like, if I don't do another year, it's like, oh, he a two and done. He a two and done. If I come back and march with the trumpets after I do another year of, uh, why is he here? Uh, him doing this. And then if I go to flat corp, it's like, why would you leave the trumpets? Why would you do this? So it's just like, people just gonna talk about me regardless. So it goes back into me having to live for me. Bad luck to talk on these rides. Mine on the road, your dilated eyes. Watch the clouds float, white Ferrari. Hey guys, um, this is the last practice before the classic weekend. We always got something to say. I let you out. I want to come back to the trumpet. You guys want to look back on the, at this lot in 40-something years and be like, damn, I missed that. I so stop talking about me. So stop talking about me and live in the moment. That whole, that whole circle is talking about me. We're What's up, y'all? This is me before I bring it on. And bring it on. Uh, White Ferrari. Goodbye. Left when I forget to speak. So I text the speech, lesser speeds, text the speed, yes. Basic text is tall on me, eventually, eventually, yes. I on me, eventually, eventually, yes. Care for you still, and I will forever. That was my part of the deal. Honest, we got so familiar. Spending each day of the year, white for Guys, we just fuck. Good times. Is Max in the back? One too many years sometimes to that lens on a face Mind over matter is magic. I do magic. If you think of that. Okay. Um, you know, this season was, was I 
enjoyed it. I'm sure we're taller in another dimension. You say we're small and not worth the mention. You're tired of moving, your body's aching. We could vacate as places to go. Clearly, this is it. All that there is can't take what